welcome, welcome to story time with me, Miss Sheila. I hope you're having a wonderful and beautiful day. Today I brought us out by the Ottawa River just because it's so peaceful. And the story we're going to uh, read is called Jenny May is Sad. Oh, let's see what happens. My friend Jenny May is sad. So this little girl, this is Jenny May. But you might not be able to tell. Even when she's sad, she still smiles. Hi, pal, she says, and shares her, her orange with Harold and admires Izzy's drawings. And she really likes to make everyone laugh. Look at her being silly. <laughs> Stepping on her tiptoes to put the tallest block up. Jenny May is hilarious. But some days are not as fun. So it looks like she's kind of having a sad. Oh, upsetting day. Hey! Harold says, Why did you do that, Jenny May? She ripped his paper. Today is one of those days. Back to your seats, please. And on those days, I wait. So it looks like Jenny Mae is talking with her teacher to find out what's happening. So she's leaving. Jenny Mae says that Miss Abbott is a good listener. She says, I'm a good listener too. But today is a quiet walk. Sometimes we don't need to talk. So they go and get to gold shop. What we need are, so they count their money. What do you think they're going to get? <gasps> Popsicles! A blue one and a purple one. And they kick the rock. <laughs> nah, ugh. Jenny May's tongue is blue. Mine is purple. Jenny May, how are you doing? She doesn't answer. Oh, Jenny May is crying. Being sad is hard. So look at her friend goes and hugs her. Nice. Jenny May is sad, but she knows I'm here for fun and not fun and everything in between. because that's what friends are for. So I see what the problem is. If you look closely in the house, in the doorway, it looks like Jenny, May, Jenny May's mummy is not feeling well. It looks like she, because she has a cap on her head, it may, and she's using um, a cane to walk, that she might have some type of illness. So that's what's making Jenny May sad. So what a good friend her friend is just to be with her. Oh, and it's, at the end it says to Maddie for being there through fun and not fun and everything in between. That's true, because we don't need to tell everybody everything. And sometimes we can ask, and if they don't want to answer, that's fine. We just love our friends and be with them and just listen and just share life with them. Until next time with me, Miss Sheila, I hope you keep shining your light bright. Bye for now.